Eliza, and I'm the research lead. I'm Eliza, and I'm the product designer. I'm Kane, and I'm the documentation lead. And my name is Axel, and I'm the outreach lead. And, and we, we are the state, state of the heart. heart. As with any complex problem, solutions often branch off into more problems, especially in the medical industry. So I've created this conceptual flowchart for you to visualize the multiple levels of the problem we are dealing with here at State of the Heart. At the macro level, we have heart disease, which is the leading cause of death in the United States, with about 700,000 deaths annually. Out of every four American deaths, one of those deaths will be from heart disease. When a heart fails, the best way to ensure full restoration of heart functions is a transplant. But there is a shortage of donor hearts available, and many patients die on the waiting list. The solution to this problem is ventricular assist devices, which support patients waiting for heart transplants. These devices prolong life for so many patients, but there is a major problem with VADs that affect the quality of life for these patients. VAD machinery is located inside the body, and the only way to charge the system is by using a drive line essentially a wire that runs through the patient's body to charge the device. As you can imagine, this driveline comes with many complications, including infection concerns. Bad patients cannot swim, and they have to live with the fear of infection at the driveline entry site, which can be fatal. In our research, we discovered a company, Second Heart, that is designing a wireless bad to solve the problem of driveline site infections, and we are working to incorporate a fail-safe to their design to ensure that the device will still be able to operate in the event of a power connection failure. Why do you think it is important to continue developing heart solutions and technologies? Because a heart is vital, right? I mean, I saw when we went through our experience, many kids that go into the cardiac unit in the children's hospital don't come out of it. Most of them don't. We were one of the lucky ones. A few minor changes, um, the blade uh, overall curvature um, without any motion is a little bit less uh, aggressive. Yeah. And uh, also, so we're going to basically sort of make this uh, similar to a helicopter swash plate. Our original idea was to develop a cheaper and non-invasive solution for coronary artery disease by using detergent to dissolve the plaque in the arteries. However, this turned out to be illogical because it is too hard to block out the detergent from spreading out into the bloodstream and into vital organs. Therefore, we decided to change ideas to work on the newest generation of wireless ventricular assist devices instead for people that need heart transplants and aren't currently able to get one. This technology helps blood flow in the arteries. We will innovate upon this technology by creating a sort of fail-safe in case battery failure into this new generation of wireless VADs. We will implement variable pitch which is when the blades rotate around their long axis to change the blade pitch, resulting in a better angle of attack. We designed our product in CAD as you can see here. The blades are able to move freely up and down. The blades will utilize the cylinder to tilt the angle of attack. You can imagine a pencil going through the cylinder and tilting up and down to tilt the angles of the blade. This will allow VATS to continue to work for a while after battery failure. You transition to a circle you know, a, a, a cylinder going along the axis of the blade, a round circle. And then instead of that bushing that's going with a pin through it, that bushing would be a separate part. And so your blade would go through that bushing, and then in the center would be your rod that actuates both of them. So you can't be very precise. And also, the jaws of the instruments here get really, really hot. And so the surgeon has to wait a long time for them to cool down before they can do the next seal on cut. And so it's a very inefficient, slow procedure. So our idea was previously uh, debunked um, by our mentor, and now we're starting a new idea and adding our new answers. Why is this exciting for you? Um, I feel like now we have a more clear and defined project that will be more viable for long term.